Today on Thrive Loud with Lou Diamond. When you're not healthy, then you basically have to look at um, every part of your life, also your, your work life. Um, I have clients that I actually recommend, which I did myself at the time. Um, I reduced my hours. So I, I went from full-time project management kind of job to, to part-time. And that allowed me to actually figure out what I really need and to understand my body and to recover. You don't need to play it safe. This was spectacular. I mean, I'm going to be really honest, so I hope you don't mind. Um, yeah, that's what we want. And there will be bumps in the road. There will be twists and turns. Um, <laughs> you needed moxie on the floor and, and volume. <laughs> it's the results and the connections and the improvement, and the impact we have on other people's life. And that's when life becomes exciting. Who do you turn to personally to get back on the thriving track? I was really, really interested in how the world works. Thanks for the great introduction. It was really very simple. I just read part of your bio. Be brief, be bright, be gone. Get ready to thrive loud with Lou Diamond. Welcome, everyone, to another episode of Thrive Loud with Lou Diamond, connecting you to the most inspiring and amazing people that are thriving each and every day. Today on Thrive Loud, we bring you an individual who spent years struggling with medical issues such as fatigue, anxiety, depression, and severe food allergies. He then sent, set out on a quest to reset and regain the energy he once had. He developed the Juice Bounce Balance Method after years of exploring nutrition and exercise and solving his own health problems. He became the first ever qualified natural juice therapist in Germany. Through his coaching and implementation programs, this individual now helps others so they can stop struggling with their health issues and change their lifestyle to achieve positive, long-lasting results. Thrive Loud fans coming to you across the Atlantic Ocean from Germany, Frank Algoyer. Frank, how are you today? Luke, I'm, I'm great. Thank you very much. It is really an honor to be on your show. Oh, it is an honor to have you. This is a pretty interesting story. And I was very intrigued when I learned about the whole juice bounce, ma juice bounce balance method. It's very difficult to say pretty quickly. And I wanted to hear from you a little bit about those issues that you went through so our listeners can understand how this really all came to be. So if that's okay with you, can you share that part of your journey as it led to what you're doing now? Well, that sounds good. Yes. Um, uh, I have to go back a little bit for that. Um, I would start like in my childhood. I had a really, really great childhood. I was always like fit and healthy and did a lot of uh, sports um, all the way up to college, really. And, um, and then... I, um, you know, went did an apprenticeship, went to university, and it was all good then. And then uh, when I started to work, it started to develop, you know, the, 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 the fatigue and, the, um, and certain allergies started already. But it was a very, very slow process. And uh, just over 10 years ago, actually just uh, before my son was born, that's when I hit the real low. Um, mm. And that's when... I realized I need to have a big change. At that time, I had developed um, a range of food allergies. I suffered from things like IBS, uh, had anxiety, um, and some, some other issues. But my biggest problem at that time, that I, when I realized that it was a problem, was um, that I was always felt tired. So that mm. meant I couldn't do all the things I love doing, you know, I'm, I'm a ski instructor, a snowboard instructor. I'm always out biking and uh, just an active person. And, and then I realized something has to change. So I went to uh, see some doctors and did a lot of tests like MRIs. I did in gastrointestinal um, intestinal reflection, but really they didn't find anything. They just said, well, at the time I must have been 35. They just said, it's a normal process. You're just getting old. And, uh, I just didn't want to accept that. I, I knew a lot of uh, 60, 70 year olds, they were thriving, they're like enjoying their lives and they're fit. So I just looked for alternative ways and I went to a uh, holistic alternative practitioner and she took time to explain a lot of, a lot of things to me. I was going to ask, I want to interject here yeah. for a second, Frank, was, did your diet change 
from the time that you were young into when you were working? What did, did because of the work that you were doing, did the way that you were eating and those allergy as the allergies were adapting, did something change in between there? Or these are just things that you think were brought on by stress and lots of other outside environmental this, things that changed you this up. Is basically, this is basically it. That's why I developed the juice bounce balance because there are three components that influence all of these things. And that's, it is okay. nutrition, it's movement, and uh, it's the mindset. And all three were, um, I would say, causing the problem. Um, but especially the nutrition, because when I um, lived at home, we always had whole foods and so home-cooked stuff. And uh, mm -hmm. so I'm from a countryside. So then I moved away and um, I lived in England for five, six years and um, there was a lot of... Oh, food. there's the answer. The, the British food. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, I guess it is true, but uh, it's not the British food. It's basically what I made out of it. I mean, you can uh, eat the best food over Understood. there as well. So, um, But yes, a lot of takeaways and, and then a lot of parties. You know, when you're, when you're younger, you're out and um, you know, you're drinking a lot and just partying and look, don't look after yourself because you're thriving, you're fit you don't see it. You don't see the problem until it's actually severe. And, uh, and right. then I had, you know, I had a job, um, did more than 40, 50 hours, traveled a lot. And then you don't have time to reflect either. And that's, that's a big problem as well. If you don't take time to think mm. about your situation, then you can't change it. So, so let's, let's go through each of the different pieces. Cause I do like the way you, you, you mentioned it in the sense that even the name, the juice, the bounce and balancing everything together. So, in working with some, uh, how did you understand the right combinations of, of juice specifically? And I know based on maybe the part of the world that you're in, and I know there's juice diets everywhere. Uh, I'm just curious how your experience came up with, I guess, the right formula. Well, at the time when I was looking for, for alternative solutions, um, we got a book called Turbocharge Your Life in 14 Days. Uh, that was from Jason Vale. Uh, he's the juice master. He's uh, from the UK and he's quite a, a big name in the juicing uh, field. And we, 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 I got that from a friend and I started reading it. And I thought, oh, that sounds... At the beginning, I was very skeptical. We just thought it was a, another diet. And then I I started reading and he writes in such a uh, <laughs> convincing way that I thought I give it a, I give <laughs> it a try. I thought 14, 14 days, <laughs> I can do that. So I bought a juicer and we did that. And it made a huge change in my life at the time. So I was just deducing and I thought, wow, this is really cool. And then I started to really dig into it and started to learn why that is. And uh, Jason Weil, he offers a course to become a natural juice therapist. You know, this is like a, a distance <laughs> learning um, course, a one-year course. And I did that. I learned all about the body, all about the autonomy, the the different diets, what they do to the body and all that. And I had, I can't tell you how many aha moments I had in, in that year. I was just incredible. And I took it from mm. there. So, so you took it from there. Um, I, I guess I, I've always wanted to ask this question and I, and I know that each individual can, has their, their own specific nutritional needs and balances that you need to examine. And I guess as a natural juice therapist, Help me understand the process you would work through to figure out what the right juice is for somebody. Is, there is no one, as you said, no one perfect diet for, for everyone. It's, it's very individual. It depends on the level of activity, where you live, what you do, um, your, 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 the whole system. Um, and so there is also no one juice that is right for, for, for one juicing. You have to juice a rainbow. This is what we all need. You choose every <laughs> color that you find and make nice uh, concoctions that, that they taste nice. And uh, so that's basically how you approach the juice. You, you start with the ones that taste really good and then you, you play around with different colors. And yes, there are certain things that certain people can't have. Um, I did have that at the beginning, but I found that out when I did a, a, a test what my body can take and what, what the body doesn't. You know, I had like like um, allergies, as I said at the beginning. So so, so let's go through um, in, in a typical day, 
Is your diet solely based on juice or is it just certain parts of the day you're starting off with? Maybe it's just one particular meal. Help me understand what you're specifically eating each day. Um, I th- nobody just lives off juice, off a juice. That's, that's not right. uh, sustainable. <laughs> that's not right either because the system, yeah, the body needs um, the fiber to work properly. So I do have like uh, reboot weeks where I just juice. And even in those weeks, I usually have like one meal either in the afternoon or in the evening, which is uh, some raw salads with, with some protein or soup. Um, but when I don't do that week, I have at least one juice in the morning. Um, apart from that, I just have normal meals during the day. Um, and I adapted my, my diet quite a lot to have it like a whole food diet and it's more organic then then mm-hmm. first local and then organic but um, i'm very very careful what and where i buy my my stuff hey there if you're enjoying how lou is connecting with this guest in this interview then just imagine how impactful he can be in person as an international speaker and consultant lou diamond is all about getting organizations to thrive through the power of connecting to learn more about how you can hire Lou to speak at your company, your conference, or your next event, head on over to loudiamond.net and click the Book Lou button to learn more. He'll truly get everyone to thrive loud. All right, let's get back to the show. Okay, so let's move over to the bounce, which I, I do want to talk about the fact that it's not just about what you you eat. It's how active you are. You are a very active individual. Share with the Thrive Lab listeners, I guess the level of active things that you're doing each and every day and how you're incorporating a lot of that into your method. So basically when I started to um, rebuild my body, I um, reduced my activity levels a lot because I had um, another problem. I was too active and I didn't have enough uh, time to, um, to recover. So I basically, Hmm. I lost quite a, a lot of weight at the time as well. So I reduced everything and over the last three, four, five years, I started to build up again. Um, now at the moment, I do one activity a day. I go for a run. I go into the gym. Uh, I cycle. Just something that is just um, for the day is right for me. Um, and the, the bounce comes in because if you want to recover your health, if you're in a state where you're not fit, then rebounding is the best thing you can do. Um <laughs> But not on the normal and rebounder is like a mini trampoline. Uh, and the one I recommend is the one with bungees, not with springs, with bungees. But yeah, very, I've seen I've, that. That's the one. That's the one that um, uh, who, who uses it? Um, Mr. Robbins uses that, actually. I think he jumps up and down on that before yeah. he goes out and speaks. I know exactly the one you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> and it's, 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 there's a good reason for that, because when you do that, um, I always talk about uh, the body's in a lake. Um, because we're like 65 to 90 percent of water and all of right. our trillion cells the seven trillion cells they all swim in water and the whole system uh, the communication system um, the defense system the immune system everything is based on good liquid good fluids in the in the body and that these fluids are moving and these these fluids have to move into and out of your cells and with the rebounder, especially with those soft spring ones, uh, soft bungee ones, that accelerates it four to ten times more than when you just go for, for a run. And hmm. uh, it's very, very, very gentle on your joints, so you, um, you don't get injured on it. Uh, um, and, and it's a lot of fun. It creates a lot of uh, good hormones, you know, the, the happy hormones as well. <laughs> you get happy hormones of bouncing. It's true. Bouncing up and down yeah, is always that's is a ton. do it. And well, and, and and I guess that's a really good point. You talked about early on that you were very, we're all very active, I guess, at a young age. We all try to be and we encourage people to do so. And work tends to slow us down. You recognize this conscious decision that you needed to change and it was really physically dragging you down. Now you flipped everything around in a way to help people implement this. Okay. All of us have very busy And in certain cases, unpredictable work schedules. Um, I do a lot of travel. uh, People run around. You know, you've got ways of not being able to always control the meals or the (laughs) the bouncing ability that you can do. How do you help coach people to put together the best program for them 
to figure out what's the best way to do the juice bounce balance for themselves so they can thrive? Well, um, first of all, when, when you, when you're, when you're not healthy, then you basically have to look at, um, every part of your life, also your, your work life. Um, I have clients that I actually recommend, which I did myself at the time. Um, I reduced my hours. So I, I went from full-time, um, project management kind of job to, to part-time. And that allowed me to actually figure out what I really need and to understand my body and to recover. When you fit again, you can you can go full speed again. But uh, before that, you really have to look after yourself first and have a plan how to to um, restate your 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 wellness. Uh, when you're fit and when you just want to support your body, then there are many ways. I'm I juice once twice a week, and I freeze them so I can take them with me. I can take them on planes as well, or you know when you drive, it's easier. You just take them along and then um, have one every day. Or if you go into big cities like New York or Munich or any any big cities, there are a lot of juice bars, which are you make decent juices. So you can get the juices there. And if you uh, go for a meal, you learn what to order. You don't just order the um, the burger and chips. You you look at the menu and then you order and then you know exactly what you want. You said I want the salad with maybe a piece of meat. And you said don't put the sauce on. I uh, just have. <laughs> the oil and the vinegar people look at you a little bit strange but you get used to it and uh, and it becomes more the norm over here especially as well you know, it's definitely changing and i also think that i actually had a, a question but i wanted to make this comment first that restaurants have now adapted tremendously to unique dietary restrictions and obviously there's a huge push towards being uh, much more healthier in everything you you come in contact with but i want to talk about the juice bars um, a lot of these places that market themselves as juice bars might not necessarily be the best juices. Um, there's a lot of places that are, I guess, pretenders versus contenders. How do you assess the best place to go out and find the right juice place? Because some of them are loaded with sugars yeah. and maybe not necessarily the best ones. This is the same thing. When I go into a restaurant, I order the food I want. When I go into a juice bar, I order the juice what I want. I basically tell them what I want in them. And if they can't do it, then it's obviously not a good juice bar. Then they just have their set menus and then you may as well can buy it in the supermarket because it's just full of sugar. And some of them right. are even prepared beforehand. So there are you have to look for it. Do you have a specific blender of choice? I was going to ask this because I know um, in the United States, they market and specifically on late night TV, just about every type of from from Vitamix to other types of blenders that are out there. Is there one that you particularly like? Uh, well, the, the, the blender has two different things, the blender and the juicer. Okay. So, so help me so uh, the, give the two. Correct. So I apologize for the discrepancy. Yeah. The, the, the bl I have a blender as well. Mine, mine is uh, one from, from, from Europe. Um, uh, but I have a Vitamix as well. And they're very good. But they're blenders. So that means you put the produce into the blender and mix it. And you drink basically the fiber as well. You mix it with some liquid, with some water. Uh, a juicer, you put the um, the produce into the juicer and it separates the fiber uh, from the juice. So the two different things. And the one gotcha. the one I recommend is actually an American, uh, the, the Omega. Omega, the one that I have over here is called Omega Zana, uh, but I think that model doesn't exist. But the, the brand Omega is very good. It's been around for quite a while. And there are All right. also so, different types. Yeah, there are also different types. There's a masticating juicer, and there are the centrifugal juicers. So that's uh, a different quality to get out of the of the produce. I love this stuff, by the way, and I, and I, I, I'm still exploring all the best ways. So do you have a favorite juice? I want to go to that person. Oh, yeah. Is there one that you is like your go-to that you love the most? The juice, yes, I have um, the one I have quite quite regularly is uh, spinach, um, apple, pineapple lime fennel and yes that's about it and i usually i usually i usually blend in an avocado for the for the fatty acids and that just tastes amazing it's just so smooth and uh you can adjust the sweetness you want as well you can use one apple two apples a little bit more pineapple you just have to play around with the the amount you put in um but that's my favorite one okay frank so here's the question i want to move over talking about balance, about 
balancing out your life, but I also want to ask you, in, I want to ask it in a way that relates to a very specific Thrive Aloud question. I, I love asking the guests that come on the show, when you're having an off day and you're having trouble thriving, what practice do you seek or who do you turn to to get back on the thriving track? And I want to ask that from what methods do you do to keep yourself balanced? Well, first of all, um, I developed like a morning routine where I do certain things in the morning. Like uh, when I get up, I have a, a lemon water with a little bit of salt in it. Um, I do um, five between five and 15 minute med- meditation, depending on time. Uh, if I have more time, I'll make my f- juice fresh. Um, then I go for a run with our dog. And then I'm set for the day. So that's that's basically how I start my day. Uh, when I feel overwhelmed with stuff during the day and I feel like I'm not getting anywhere, I usually just go outside and do something. I go just activities. I'm, I'm an active person. And then I'll do an activity that I that I'm, like to do. And if that doesn't help, then I have a, 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 a great partner, my wife. She is my best friend. I go to her and uh, then we'll usually sort it out. Yeah, that's awesome. I, I do have this question because I, this is kind of – I can't believe I'm asking this. I'm thinking about it only because I, rem- I remembered as a kid, you know, they always gave you the advice after you ate something, you know, before you went swimming – they, they always recommended giving us a certain amount of time before you went in the water after you ate something. So my question to you is, after you've had a juice or you've eaten a meal and you're now about to go to your bounce activity, give us the timeline of how close to you, you should be eating before you start bouncing up and down. <laughs> and I can't believe I'm asking it, but it was just one of those. Maybe we should give that safety precaution message to our Thrive Lab list. Yes, uh, basically, uh, it's better to eat afterwards after you bounce than beforehand. Uh, yes, because it's if it's in your stomach, you don't want to, you want to <laughs> don't want to really bounce. But it's not a problem if you go onto one of those soft rebounders to actually swing. You know, if you uh, stand on them and you just move from left to right without leaving the mat, and that actually accelerates yeah. the the digestive uh, um, uh, process. So that's more of a support than than a problem. Frank, if you could, why don't you share with the listeners all the places people can find you and learn how they could work with you to figure out some of the coaching and implementation programs that you can have so they can access you or other means that you can plug. All This is your chance to plug away here. Oh, great. Thank you for that. Um, I actually created a special, a special offer or a special um, uh, treat for, the, for, for your listeners, and it's on juiceandbounce.com forward slash Thrive Loud. It's like one page where you can find everything. There's a free download where you can uh, download a starter kit or a starter plan where you can implement the Juice Bounce Balance um, method, and you can find all of my social media there as well. Oh, that, that's great. And, and we will put that on the show note links to make sure that everybody has it. And uh, I'm definitely going to go check this <laughs> great, out because you. I love juices. All right. So um, the question I guess I have is, are you going to maybe put together um, a book or a way to promote some of the best juices and some of the best ways to work? Maybe because through some of your being that natural juice therapist in Germany, something specific? Is that is that in the future plans um, for you? I actually um, started off as like uh, um, as a speaker in, in a corporate events. And uh, I, I wrote a book after that because I wasn't satisfied with the results I got from there. There was no transformation. Um, I wrote a book called Energy Reloaded, and it's uh, at the moment an ebook on Amazon, uh, but it's only in German yet. And um, I'm working on it to have it translated into English, so it will be will be available on Amazon then in, in English as well. Um, but my main, I would say, uh, vision is basically pr- produce um, courses or a pl- um, uh, programs where I can take people. So they can change their lifestyle to live the life of their dreams. So they can basically start having all these fun activities they used to do and be fit and healthy again. That's my plan. I love it. I love it. I think it's great. And we'll definitely uh, look forward to all of that content that you're putting together. And I think, it, look, it's so important to balance diet. And there's lots of different solutions out there. For those that are have tried different things to figure out how to get your energy level up and who've felt some of the things that Frank had experienced earlier in his life, this is always worth looking into and, and go to that starter kit to get a start with it so you can go check it out. Frank, I want to leave with our signature question here. 
What's your all-time favorite movie? <laughs> That's a very good question, but I have to uh, admit I have to say one movie which I heard uh, quite a few times on one of your previous podcasts, and it's Pulp Fiction. And the reason for that is uh, that's the first film I watched in original language in English when uh, I studied in England. And I watched that with my now wife, Fiona, and that uh, has great memories. So. And it's a great oh movie. my goodness! <laughs> the fact that your your introduction to the English language came through Quentin Tarantino and <laughs> and John Travolta and Samuel L. Jackson is definitely it's, worth an intro. <laughs> it's not. It's not that I at that time I actually understood English. When I went to England, uh, my English was very very bad. So I had a hard time the first three four months when I went over there. Well, you you sound <laughs> great, and I think this is great. I, I look the whole concept, eating right. Bouncing high and and balancing your day, I think it's a great method and it's a great message for everybody. And uh, I want to thank you so much for coming on the show. This has been great, Frank. I thank you, Lou, for having me on the show. It was great. Thank you. Oh, uh, our pleasure. And to all the Thrive Lab listeners out there, thank you for joining us. And until next time, keep thriving onward and upward. And remember, be brief, be bright, be God. And you know what they call a, a quarter pounder with cheese uh, in Paris? They don't call it a quarter pounder with cheese? Oh, man, they got the metric system. They wouldn't know what the fuck a quarter pounder is. And what do they call it? They call it uh, Royale with cheese. Royale with cheese. That's right. You've been listening to Thrive Loud with your host, Lou Diamond. Make sure to subscribe on iTunes, Overcast, or wherever you get your podcasts. And follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at Thrive Loud. Or find us on the web at thriveloud.com.